Nintendo is not only battling piracy, but also scalpers, resellers, the scourge of the world. The people that buy something at one price and they they sell it for a higher price somewhere else. A lot of people hate these hate resellers. In some, some cases I do, in some cases I am a reseller myself. If you have a yard sale, you are a reseller. Nintendo is battling resellers with a unique, wild idea. I'm not sure why they didn't think of this before. With the Nintendo Switch 2, they plan on making enough units to satisfy the demand that they expect. Gasp, who would do that? This is not the first time Nintendo has run into a situation where they didn't have enough chips to satisfy demand for, in the past it was games, mostly anyhow. But uh, anybody remember when Double Dragon released in the late 80s? The uh, chip shortage back then caused a lot of games to be raised in price. Nintendo had no problem getting, you know, chips for their games, but third parties did. And yeah, they plan on making enough units of the Nintendo Switch 2 to, com to combat resellers and and hopefully deflate them potentially making profits off of reselling the system. How much want to bet they, they, they Nintendo tries to get in on that a little bit themselves by raising the price just slightly. I mean, people will pay it. It's the Nintendo tax, Amazon tax. People pay it. Make, make a product people want bad enough, they'll pay it. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this. Is it a novel idea Nintendo is actually going to try to make enough to meet demand?